Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bernie here, back at you again with yet another video. And before we start this video, if you guys would kindly hit that subscribe button, and also hit that like button if you enjoyed this day's content. And also remember, if you're a subscriber here on Fusion Core, please remember to hit that notification bell. It'll let you know our latest updates, our latest videos that we post, and all the other cool, awesome stuff that we do here on the channel. Yeah, really much appreciated, guys. Thank you very much. And now on to today's video. Of course, we got to discuss, and that's Markel Fultz. If you guys don't remember, Markel Fultz obviously had that psychosomatic injury where it felt like he didn't, he couldn't shoot. He couldn't shoot in the paint. He had trouble scoring. He airballed layups. He airballed jump shots in the paint. It looked terrible. But now, he's looking pretty good. If you guys haven't watched the latest game, obviously, they played the Nuggets tonight. He had a pretty good game. He had 10 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. On 5 of 13 shooting with only 14 minutes in that game. But it was still a good 14 minutes. I thought he played pretty well. I thought he did things that were awesome. I thought he also did things that were a little bit concerning. Especially when he got some of his jump shots and he got blocked a little bit. I think his jump shot is fine if he has enough space. It just looks like he extends his arms out a little bit too much for my liking. And I think he could get blocked easily, which he did tonight. But if he continues to work on this form, if he continues to get better at it, then I won't complain about it, and I don't think anybody else will. I think the other cool thing about this game was the fact that it was at home, and a lot of the fans were cheering for Malcolm Fultz. You could hear Fultz screaming throughout the arena, bringing that boost of confidence that was sorely missing from him, and it's glad to see that the fans are patient with him. They're not trying to force him to starting. They're being very conscious of his dilemma that he's in, and that was thanks to his shooting coach. I believe that his shooting coach is to blame for this, I don't know who he brought on. I don't know who this coach is, but obviously it really screwed up his mind and it screwed up his shooting form to a point where it looked like it was uncoverable. Like it, it looked like you couldn't even bring this kid back to a decently good looking jump shot anymore. But I'm glad that he stuck with it. He's worked with the coaches. He's worked with everybody. Even his head coach has given him support. So I'm glad that they're doing that for him and I can't wait to see him play even more. You know, this game really took off in the third quarter when they were up you know 34 to 15 for that quarter alone so their defense was really good if we look at the third quarter for the Denver Nuggets and Philadelphia game obviously the Philadelphia 76ers scored 34 to 15 so player playing good defense but also Denver wasn't making their shots and it's a good thing for Philadelphia to get that boost of confidence to get them this high feeling so that when they get into the playoffs they have experience you know Denver Nuggets is not a team to sneeze at they're actually a pretty good decent team and I'm glad that Marco Fultz got an actual good test on how to play the game coming back against the Denver Nuggets, who I believe are a very good team. And it's going to be unfortunate if they don't make the playoffs, but that's just the way life is. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. But really, this comes down to Marco Fultz, and we're going to go back to him real quick. Marco Fultz was pretty good this game. You know, he, he really loved the standing ovation for... Uh, the 76ers, what the fans gave to him. So I'm glad that he's appreciative of them and they're also willing to wait for him to really mature and become this player that we know he can be as the number one pick. But it, was, it wasn't it was looking promising at the beginning. Just kind of like with every rookie, we probably should take a step back, wait one or two years before we you know, say if he's a bust or not. Because I think that's when we will realize who's willing to put in the work to get into the NBA and who's just living off the, oh, I'm just the first round pick, it's whatever. But anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think of his jump shot if you guys watched it and I'll make sure to put highlights over on this side so you can see him. But, you know, let me know in the comments down below what did you think of his jump shot? Did it look good? What things would you change about it? And if you're a 76ers fan or a supporter of the process movement, let me know what you guys thought of this process. Was it another step in the right direction, or do you guys are on a wait-and-see approach? Anyway, guys, this has been your boy Bernie here at Fusion Core. Please remember to hit that like button. hit that. Also, share this with your basketball friends. Make sure that they know about Fusion Corp. And also remember to hit that sub button. We would really appreciate you guys hitting that sub button. We're on the road to 200 subscribers. Make sure to hit that sub button. But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Bernie here. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Charge. Peace.